so we're here. Got my friend. I don't know if she wants to disclose her name, so I'll Erica. Like her. Okay, great. <laughs> Um, we're gonna do a wash and go today. So she just came over. Whoa, we got some conditioner on this, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna see. This will be her first time ever. I can't wait. We're gonna just go ahead and detangle her hair. Mm -hmm. And then um, I'm gonna have her sit under the dryer a little bit just to let the deep conditioner really soak in. And then we'll wash it out and get started. We'll be back. All right, guys, so we're back. She got her hair washed. No, I'm just playing. It was already washed. We just did some deep conditioning. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply our leave-in conditioner. Yes. Did you think that we were using anything other than TGIN? I don't know why. Okay. We're using TGIN and Eco Styler. I'm going to use what I know works. You know what I'm saying? She has a similar texture of hair. A lot more of it, though, probably. Yeah, so I'm going to go with what works. I did try the Eco, I'm sorry, the Edge Booster combination with this, but I don't trust it. So I'm not going to try it on the first time on her. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and put this leave-in conditioner over all the sections. And then I'm going to follow up with the Daily Butter Moisturizing Cream. And then I'm going to seal that in with oil. Purpose for this is because when your hair is dry you're gonna have more frizz. So we just wanna make sure that her hair is gonna be nice and moisturized, nice and shiny. When she gets that wash and go, it's gonna be popping. I mean, it's gonna look like it's wet, but it's gonna be dry. Come on, like who does that? Erica. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna have her turn to the side just so that you guys can see. You guys can see, I just added water to it and it is already like, come on, come through curls, we see you. Okay, so I'm gonna start off. You already know the drill. I got this dimming brush here, but I don't think I'm gonna need it, honestly. So we're gonna start off with the Twist and Define Cream. Sorry for all the shaking. We're gonna start off with the Twist and Define Cream. I moisturized the section. I added water. Um, this is about a mu as much as I'm going to start off with. You see that too? And I'm just going to focus on the roots and then I'm going to focus on the ends. And we're just going to rake the product in. Some people really like shingling. I shingled my other friend's hair, but her hair really doesn't need shingling. But I could. I could shingle. We'll see. So what I like to do is just see how is it clumping, yeah? And then we're gonna break it down if necessary into smaller sections and go over that with the gel. So I'm just raking the product in with my fingers like this and grasping it here. And I'm trying to go into the same sections that I had it in so that it could clump together nicely. Mm -hmm. You could kind of see that. Do you see it? I do. Good. It's the piece that's laying on my neck, yeah. Yeah. Good. I'm happy that you can see that. So that's not it though. That's just what this. So what the gel is going to do is really solidify that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I try to focus on the roots to make sure that it's going to stretch. So yeah. And I'll get closer up. I'll get a, a closer up view for you guys. Um, once I get to the front, it'll be a little bit easier. So I broke that section down and now I'm going to go in with my gel. About that much of the gel not a ton I'm gonna mm -hmm. start on the roots make sure we lay those roots down so that we don't have too much frizz um, unnecessarily and then look at that just pop and I like to see it go straight because I know for a fact it's gonna curl fun. up you know mm -hmm. so my goal is to like let me see it go straight gonna work this in and like I said guys this is gonna take no time her hair is always her hair is moisturized trained moisture trained yes that's the that's the word moisture trained you can tell that it doesn't take a lot to get moisture in her hair and that way her curls are gonna pop like immediately girl are you excited about your wash and go I'm just looking at that so exciting literally like look it's already there girl mm -hmm. I can't believe this is her first time trying to wash and go ever. She has a beautiful curl pattern and didn't even know it. 
I didn't. So I wonder, is it, do you think your, your process is so successful because of the products or more so because of your step-by-step? -step? I think it's a combination of both. I will say that I've learned, the more I work with my hair, the more I realize I don't have to do such small sections. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning, in order, like when I started wearing my wash and goes, it was super necessary to do those small sections mm -hmm. just because my hair wasn't used to like clumping together. You yeah. know what I mean? And yeah. so it's like I'm really helping it to know, like, okay, mm -hmm. we like to clump, you know, what it is that I want it to do. Mm -hmm. But as far as the products, I think it's all in the combination as well as the technique. Yeah. So, for example. Because I was even thinking, like, man, even if I bought her products, I don't know if I'd be able to do this. Well, no, I think that you could. It's just, especially, like, after seeing it work on your hair. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I think that that's the thing. You got to find the product that works on your hair. I know this product will work on your hair because I opted for a heavier product mm -hmm. because I wasn't sure. You know, if you've never had a wash and go before, then you're going to need something to kind of like mm -hmm. weigh train. your hair. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Weigh it down a little bit just so that you can train it. So that's why I went for this one versus like the edge booster gel is a little bit lighter. And oh, you probably lighter. can still get a, a nice wash and go. No, no, no. It's the eco styler that's okay. heavier. But the Twist and Define Cream is heavier, and it's heavier than the um, Kinky Curly, which is what I have in my hair. Mm. So I got a, a fluffier wash and go with this mm -hmm. because I used the Kinky Curly. But that's after having my hair trained, trained. Mm. you know? This is so nice. Little. Turn around, girl. You see them pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Just need to show y'all this pop, bitch. Come through, curls. First ever wash and go. I told you, everybody could do a wash and go. It's already starting to shine as it's drying, y'all. Come on, turn around that way. That's it, right there. So you can see we got a little fluffage going there in the front. Gonna stretch all of those sides out, girl, yes. Okay, so now she's gonna get under the dryer. We're gonna create a nice cast, okay? Ryan Little. <laughs> 